Okay guys, welcome to this video. Jose says hello from Madrid, Spain. This is a compliment of the photo processing I did of uh, this picture. This video is to show you how I got rid of those uh, jersey barriers. Uh, basically, what I'm trying to do here is just to remove these uh, barriers using artificial intelligence. Um, I decided to record it because um, I think it's important for you guys to know how I did it because in the other video I just started with the barriers removed. So what I have done here so far is I'm trying to use the first, uh, the, I'm, I'm applying, sorry, the first pass of the erase tool to see how it behaves. Um, the reason I'm also recording it uh, over a you know, doing a voiceover is because when I was recording this part using the uh, recording program, which is OBS and 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 Luminar Neo, for some reason that I don't know, my system was not actually coping with the resources needed, and it kept crashing. But I think it was something related to Windows or things of that nature. But I then uh, stopped doing audio. And with that, I was able to record it just the steps. So this is the second pass I I did with the erase tool. I think it's not that good, but I'm opening the clone tool. Maybe I'm trying to uh, copy the pattern, but I think that the that the erase tool can do a better job. Maybe I didn't create the mask the way it should be. And sometimes it might require two or maybe three attempts so don't worry don't be scared of restarting again i'm trying to use the clone tool but it's not getting right yeah i remember now i'm switching back to the edits i'm erasing what i did i think i will get rid of that erase tool yes i will start all over again <laughs> okay so let's see what i do this time i select the erase tool and now I'm getting closer to the border of the fender of the car. So yes, I want to erase that because it took some part of the of the car. Yes, All right. So then I will increase the size. It will increase the size and draw the outline. Yes, and then complete or fill in the rest. Okay. Now it's time to click the erase button to see what happens. really nice the result is very very good so just uh, some minor adjustments like that you erase that part and then i will take care of the rest using the clone tool for sure now use the clone tool if you see me pausing in there is because every time i open the clone tool the, the fan of the processor got crazy <laughs> Uh, I, had to, I had to wait for it to actually slow down a bit before moving anything in here. So, okay, I'm erasing the border. You see how the source, you know, I mean, the source where it's, it's copying is really close to it because you want to copy from an area that is really close to the edge that you want to fine tune. All right. So if you know how to do this already, it's fine. If you want to check the processing, the card of the video is appearing here right now. It will take you to the full processing of this photograph. I mean, this tutorial is just to erase those jersey barriers that were behind of a car. Yeah, now I'm yeah, filling in, yeah, continuing the pattern. Probably that would get really close to the edge to then move in the vertical way or apply it in the vertical way. Yes, 
I'm reducing the size because I will do that for sure. Yes. And I will start now. Moving down like that. Good. Oh, that was that one was not that parallel. You see the small dent that I left on top. And then I will fill it with the clone tool again. Right. I think it's okay the way it is. Yeah, it's not noticeable at that distance. Okay, so now I'm moving to the next one. I will use the erase tool. The same principle. I will get really close to the edge of the car and let artificial intelligence make the thinking and show me or provide an outcome. Let's see what happens. Okay, I think it's now time to click erase. Good, let's see what happens. Nice job, it really did really, really, really well. Okay, so now it's time to fine tune again the border using the clone tool. For sure. Yes. Clone tool. Same principle. Really close to the edge that you want to um, copy. I mean, fill or fine tune. Because since I will be moving vertically, you know, actually parallel, it will, won't matter if the pattern changes because it will be copying right with the pattern or with the what the image has right next to it like that you see they seem like they are following each other right good that that one was great in one pass yeah i will leave it like that do not touch it oh i want to erase that one okay good so there it is you know simple as that if you want to check the full processing of this uh, of this photograph, uh, the link will appear here in the video card and above or in the description of the video. So guys, again, thank you very much for watching the video and I see you in the next straight to the point tutorial. Bye bye.